Hi friends, Marie back again. I just wanted to show you one of my new hobbies. I've been doing it for about a month or two and I was reminded to show you this by my friend here on YouTube, Elaine. Now she has a channel, a great channel, My Busy Country Life. I will leave the title and URL below. It's worth your while, go over and pay her a visit. She lives on a farm a sheep and cattle farm in Wexford, County Wexford, here in Ireland. She has three boys and she's getting married in August. So there's great excitement lately in all of her videos with wedding preparations and getting hair highlights. And she's even got those new eyelashes, those individual eyelashes in lately. So call over, tell her I sent you and enjoy the vlogs you'll see lots of farm life there it's great fun now she has also she seems to have the same hobby as me she has purchased some adult coloring books that's about the only way you could describe them i've been into mindfulness a lot lately and um, as you know from a lot of my vlogs i include a little mindful reading at the end of some of them but one of the best things for relaxing believe it or not is coloring in in coloring books and now they make adult coloring books here is a fine design geometric pattern coloring book i love the patterns i've always loved patterns even as a child i'm not terribly artistic but i love pattern and i love color and as i've already mentioned i love um orla kylie pattern and that's another video i must make for you i bought one of her pattern books i just adore the use of colour and the use of pattern in everyday life. So anyway, I'll show you some of these. These now I haven't touched yet. These are uh, on the list, shall we say. Now I have to be careful with these. The paper quality is not brilliant. As you can see, there's a little bit of show through. And what I normally use are alcohol-based markers, so they don't really work well with these. This quality of paper. And these were bought on Amazon, about three pounds each. So I was also talking to my friend Leora, Leora Hess, about this. And she has another channel. It's amazing the number of good friends I meet on YouTube. And I will leave her URL below as well. Now she is an artist and she is artistic and she loves colouring and pattern as well. So I was asking for advice and she recommended perhaps pencils, colouring pencils. And um, I'm not sure. I love the effect of the alcohol marker and I'll show you. I love bright, strong, effective colour. I'm not really one for pastels or anything like that. But I just, I'm on here today anyway to tell you about two great women uh, whose channels are below and who are very talented in their own ways. So check them out. And I'm also wanting to show you my colouring books. So here are lovely patterns that are still to be coloured and yes they are for adults and they are so relaxing. So that one is my first one. Just fly through it quickly show you the different patterns. We all loved colouring in as children and it was one of the things that we did an awful lot of in school and there was great merit to it. It strengthened up the hand. It made for great coordination, it taught you skill, it taught you a love of colour, it taught you what colours go well together. There's actually an awful lot to be learned from, from colouring in. So that is my first book and it's called Fine Design Geometric Patterns Colouring Book. And the nice thing about these is if you purchase the book and if you've really maybe coloured in one of the patterns that you loved so much, because you've purchased it, it comes with a free printable PDF version. So you can actually print another one when all the kids are done with this one. It's not kids that will be using this but myself. But when you finish colouring this, if there was one particular one you wanted, you could actually print it out maybe on stronger card. And that way you could use the alcohol based markers. So haven't done that yet. So that's my first one. My second one is again geometric design and patterns, colouring book for kids and adults. And there's no maker name, is there here? By Lilt. Lilt Kids Colouring Books Inside and Geometric Designs and Patterns. This one now reminds me a lot of an Orla Kylie kind of collection. It's quite cute. Look at that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? That's a 3D effect there. So that now would take great patience. I'm not sure I'd be up for that one. But the patterns alone I love. I don't know what it is about patterns. I just love patterns. I love, um, I'd love to be able to design patterns and use them to make handbags and covers for books and things like that. I think this pattern is wonderful. Whether it's just that there's such a continuity about it, it repeats itself over and over. I don't know what it is. That's very Celtic. It's lovely though. So these ones I haven't yet used I yet. There's the flower one. The detail is spectacular. And again, in this one, you can actually print them off. It tells you that there's a free PDF version available because you bought the book. So that's the second one. This is the one that I have started. Uh, those ones were about three euro each. I think this one could have been maybe, no, there were three pounds sterling, I beg your pardon. This one could have been about six, I'm not sure, six, maybe seven sterling. But when you purchase from Amazon here in Ireland, if you purchase more than 25 sterling, you get free shipping, which means a lot because I find when you're purchasing on internet, shipping is usually one of money down the drain. It's just expensive. So this is the Mindfulness Coloring Book, and this is by Emma Farrens, or Farrens, and it's an anti-stress art therapy for busy people. Soothe your anxiety and eliminate stress by coloring in. This beautiful illustrated colouring book is filled with templates of exquisite scenes and intricate sophisticated patterns prompting you to meditate on your artwork as you mindfully fill the pages with colour. Take a few minutes out of your day wherever you are and colour your way to peace and calm. Now I have some of these coloured in so I will show them to you. I use alcohol based markers so you can actually see there it has um, I skipped those two because I started with the cups I liked the cups I use the alcohol based markers as I love their colors they're strong they blend well and oh, they're just very effective so I did they were my first little experiment so I did the six cups in different colors again they bled through on those two pages so I skipped the next two pages and here's my second lot. This is just pattern again. So I chose two different um, two different pattern schemes, just trying them out and seeing how I like them. And it uh, reminds me very much of wallpaper. So very soothing and very anti-stress and great for relieving tension. This is the next one I did. Now these are actually the same. They're the same patterns on both page but colored differently. I just chose multicolors for the first one and then I decided to experiment on the second and just go with two shades, orange and white. White was already there so I just went with the orange and look how totally different the same pattern can look when it's colored in in different ways. So I prefer the orange actually so I think there's a lot to be said for just two colors. Monochrome is black and white isn't it? What's two colors? I'm not sure. Again, the bleed through is huge, even though this quality paper is excellent. I liked these wheels and because the orange and white was my favorite from the previous one, I decided again to go with orange and white. Now, the next one I did was again, orange and white. Are we seeing a theme here? I think that's enough orange and white for the moment, but um, not bad, not bad. Not my favorite one, that one. I don't know, I don't like the twirly bits in the middle. So what have we here? That's the last one I've actually done. So there will be a buttons one, a paper one. There's one there with birds. There is one there with big cheese plant leaves. I remember having one of those when I was younger. All sorts of pattern, anything you like. Now what I like about this is you can throw this in your purse, your handbag, and bring it around with you. And if you're traveling by train, have a little case with a few little pencils or and just color in what it does is it distracts the mind your mind when you're coloring in and when you're staying within lines your mind focuses on what you're actually doing and it's a great way to get into mindfulness to focus the mind on exactly what you're doing 
So that is my latest hobby, the Mindfulness Colouring Book. And here are the markers I use. I have a little set of these. This is called Graph and there's 12 markers in these. And these again are alcohol based markers. Now again, they're not for everybody because of the bleed through. They've got the um, thick nib, the thick nib on one side and then on the other side they have the thin, the, the fine, um, what do you call it, the fine, fine nib. So there are 12 of those in there, but they do provide bleed through, so maybe not for everybody's use. Now, I have two packs of Letraset alcohol-based markers as well. I've been using these for my card making. I do a little bit of card making now and again, and I have lots of colours here. And again, they're the same as the other. You've got your thick nib on one side, alcohol-based markers again. And you've got your fine nib on the other. The thing with alcohol-based markers is you don't have that join. You know when you're colouring in with ordinary markers and you can see when you go back over something you have that join. These blend much better and for that reason I was using them for my cards and still using them for my mindfulness colouring book. Here's my second pack of letter sets. I have a good good few colours in those and some metallics up on top. So that's a great hobby for any of you who are interested in colouring. And even if you're not interested in colouring and want a new relaxing hobby, something you can do while the telly's on or while you're just relaxing yourself, what better way to do it than with a little book on your knee and a little colouring pencil or whatever is your favourite medium to colour with. And don't forget to check out the two ladies I mentioned in the description box below. Two talented women as well. So thanks for watching and sharing my new hobby with me. And let me know if any of you do any adult colouring in because uh, I think there are great relaxing benefits to do with it. I'd love to hear back from you. So bye.